Hello, Jack Haynes here from Expert Hunting Magazine, and we're on board the Nordwestern 317 Sports Club before it makes its way to the Southampton Boat Show. It's available with either 260 horsepower stern drive engines or the IPS 400 system. Luckily, the boat we're on now has twin 300 horsepower engines attached to stern drives, so let's get it started up and see what it does on the water. Okay, let's see what she can do. First thing to notice is that this boat doesn't want for power. The 300 horsepower engines supply plenty of them, which is up and running within seconds. We're already at 20 knots. To get the bow down a bit, it does help to use a bit of the tail, maybe 30%, just to keep the bow down so you've got a good view from the helm. The steering is incredibly light, and there's enough feel that you can always predict what the boat's going to do. She turns nicely, doesn't lose any grip. The boat very controllable, very predictable, even in nice hard turns. We do have 25 knots now. She doesn't lose any speed. We haven't even lost a knot. Just turn harder and harder. She reacts beautifully. Really nice. Flat out, you're going to be looking at about 37 knots. But it can happily cruise anywhere between 24 all the way up to 32 or 35 if you're in a hurry. Okay, so you've seen how she looks on the water, let me show you around the cockpit. It's first for Northwest, West and then it's an open design but it works really nicely. We've got a good U-shaped seating area here which will fit eight people easily and uh, squeeze. And this table, the lovely table which folds in half, give you a very good tough hand hold when you're going along. But it's also nice and big for when everybody wants to sit down and eat. Another feature is that it moves down electronically. The reason it does this is so that you can put it down completely flat, put some infill cushions in and make a huge sump pad. A really useful feature that's made a hell of a lot easier by the fact that it is electronic. Here we've got the wet bar, which is actually far more than a wet bar, it's more like a galley. Cockpit griddle here, it's an option, but I would imagine it'd be a bit of pocket a lot. Sink. And then you've got a big fridge for an upstairs wet bar and also an ice maker, that's an option that you can expect. You really are sport for choice when it comes to the cooking areas on this boat when you think it's only 37 foot long and you have got a proper galley down below. Another thing to mention about the cockpit is the fact that it's got a soft retracting roof. This, this is good for two reasons, it saves weight from having a big lump of plastic up here and also it's less noisy because you don't get sound from the engine bouncing off and down off a hard surface. So here we are at the helm and it's very good. There's a great view out uh, when you're sitting. The, the screen hasn't got too many thick mullions in it. You've got two nice big pieces of glass. At the back, obviously because it's an open cockpit, you can see out really easy. There are hardly any blind spots whatsoever. It's very easy to look out of. You can flip the seat up and stand if you want as well, but there's also this footrest. So you can see right out over the top of the windscreen. The dash itself is really good. The dials are paired nicely in front of the driver. The compass is bang in front of you exactly where you want it. So let's have a look down below. Well, when you come down the stairs, the first thing that greets you is the galley, which is really good actually. This folds back here to give you a hob. There's a double sink, and then there's just dedicated work surface area here, which is really good for preparing food. And have you noticed it's all fiddled, which is great, so stuff can't fall off of it. You also get neat solutions like this a nice shade blind so that you don't get woken up if you're on the berth in the morning. 
And while we're here, this is great to have a, a window underneath the windscreen that floods this place with natural light and makes it look even bigger than it is. More storage solutions, all the glasses, shot glasses, wine glasses, all here, held in their own fiddles, which is great. It means they're not going to smash about everywhere in rough seas and just more general storage. It's a really useful area actually, a nice place to spend time if the weather's too nasty to be upstairs. Okay, so let's have a look at one of the cabins. There's only two cupboards, but they are deep, so you can store a week's worth of clothes in here pretty easily. And these shelves up here are all fiddled, so you can chuck up the ends up there. Reading lights at the top of the berth is always useful, and a nice big deck hatch to flood the place with natural light. Back here where I am, there's just about enough room to stand and get dressed. Um, most people probably find themselves stepping out to the saloon to do it. Stepping to the heads, it's not en suite, but it does serve both cabins. It's closer to the forward cabin there, obviously. Inside there, there's plenty of storage. 